Hello everyone, it's me, the Cannabis Reviewer. I'm back for another exciting week of GROW. Today is Tuesday, January 3rd, 2022. Welcome to my 2022 fall growing season. In today's video, we are making six gallons of Fox Farm Sledgehammer Flushing Mix. And you make this Fox Farm Flushing Mix to flush out all of the salts that's in the soil from using all of the nutrients that they have. So we're, as always, we're following the Fox Farm Soil Feeding Schedule. And if you look here on the side, let's see if I can pull this out enough. They show that after so many feedings, about three feedings, you're going to want to flush again. So you see three feedings flush, three feedings flush. So we've done three feedings and it doesn't necessarily, to be honest, it ain't per week, it's per feedings. So we've done three and it's time to do a flush. So in today's video, I'm going to be making six gallons of the Fox Farm sledgehammer flush with real growers recharge to help them keep the microbial support going while the salts are being taken away so hey yeah so what do we do we're gonna use six gallons of reverse osmosis water so let's start with that first we'll go ahead and we'll put in six gallons of reverse osmosis water in here Okay, six gallons. Just like that. Uh huh, just like that. So, next we'll zoom in here and uh, we'll do the Bush Doctor sledgehammer. Always shake it up. Oh, I should tell you what we're going to use, actually don't have the uh, whiteboard today but, so we're gonna do basically it's two teaspoons per gallon that says here it's hard to read it two teaspoons per gallon but it's hard to read so that's ten if you look at this down here that's ten two teaspoons is ten milliliter you can't see it but it's if you look down there ten teaspoons is two milliliter ten time sorry two teaspoons is ten milliliter 6 times 10 is 60 milliliters, so we're going to put 60 milliliter of sledgehammer in here. And I already have the container, so it would make life simple. And we'll fill that up, pour them in here. Just two ingredients with this. Oh, wait, got to get the lid off of it. That will never work. Okay, here we go. Okay. Come down like that, show you how, what it looks like a little bit. We'll do a good stir on it. Get it really good mixed up. Nice and dark. The nice part about the clear container is you can tell if it's mixed up properly or not a lot better than you can if it's not in a clear container. See? It's pretty good. All right. Next up, Real Growers Recharge. This will make it really dark. And it looks like that if you haven't seen it before. This adds microbial support to your plants. So I, I'm going with three teaspoons. So I get a hefty teaspoon of this, hef, hefty one of these, and just pour it in. Stay away from the fumes, don't inhale them. You will be sorry. If and you do. Get 
those out of the way. Let's get another good stir going here. And then of course the next step will be to check the pH level and see if it's within range of where we want it to be. Hopefully it is and I don't have to add anything but we'll see where, where we're at. Of course we also gonna we got our water here that we filled up to rinse it out with. So grab the pH 80. Yep. Zoom in. Open it up. Wipe it off. Shake it real good just in case there's any of the solution in there. Turn it on. Stick it in. And see if you can see what it says. 6.8. Holy mother of love. We are going to have to bring that down. 6.7. Should have brought the whiteboard back, huh? 6.6. Six. Okay, so we're at 6.6. Six. I'm definitely going to need to bring that down a little bit. Seems a little high. So, okay. It is what it is. I'll grab the whiteboard and we'll get that done. And I'll come back and we'll put the pH up in, pH down in. Should say pH down. Be right back. I'm back. Decided to just write it on on the uh, cloth cart the cloth here. But let's see what we're gonna do. It's six six. We gotta come down. So I'm gonna put in one. Believe it or not, one milliliter. Because I do not know. There's no. Except there really ain't no buffering in it. So we're gonna put one in. Let's see what we can do with that and then I'm sure it's not gonna be right but it'll at least let me know how far because I don't want to go too much so I'd rather start slow work my way up there's one and I know there's six gallons here so what can that do but we'll stir it up and see if it moved it up a lot down I mean a lot then uh, we'll be fine. If it didn't hardly move it, then I'll know I need to add what ratio I need to add to to get it perfect, as they say. Okay, let's check it with the pH meter again. Where are we at? We lost you. Where are you? There you are. Six four, six three. See what I mean? That was only one milliliter. So we're gonna put two six two. We're not putting any more in. When you can get to at least six two, we're good. That that'll be fine. I don't usually have any problems. We'll stay at six two. Awesome. See what I mean? If I'd have put five milliliters in, it'd have been way too low. I had to make a whole new mat batch. Who the heck wants to do all that? So now we're at 6.2. We started at 6.6. Six. And yeah, I normally have my whiteboard, but we'll do it this way. 6.2, one milliliter. That's all we need. And I'll add it. So it's down there. I've written it down right there. I'll put it into my spreadsheet. The only thing really left to do uh, is to uh, put the aerator in it but you can't really put the aerator in with this because if you do it'll bubble up real bad so what we usually do is we just leave it alone let it do its thing um, we won't put anything in because it will bubble pretty quickly anyway so I guess we're done we've made six gallon of Fox Farm soil feeding schedule uh, we're using the sledgehammer flush from book bush doctor and we're also using Real Growers Recharge and also pH down one milliliter of that. Started at 6.6, went down to 6.2 with one milliliter. So hope you enjoyed the video. Keep coming back. Please subscribe. Click the bell, that kind of stuff. Watch some of my other videos. Tell me what you think. That'd be cool. 
keep coming back guys appreciate it if you got a comment leave it below or a question you want to support me check out the stuff in the description i guess that's it this is the cannabis reviewer see y'all in the next video and as i always say happy smoking